In today's video, we will be covering an important development tool for anyone called pseudocode. Think of it this way. We will implement programs in a familiar language before expressing those programs in a programming language. When I say implement, I mean build algorithms. So we go back one last time, we add a comment right here, and we will say pseudocode will allow, will allow us to build algorithms in a familiar language. Before building algorithms, before building, before building in a programming language. And when I say familiar language, it can be any language, English, French, whatever you want it to be. Hell, it can be your own language, however you want to express your code. Mm -hmm. So before I begin, I just want to say this. I learned C++ from a book by D.S. Malik called C++ Programming. Some of the problems we, we, we will be solving will be from the book. Let's begin. So I'll add a comment here. Problem one. If I tell you that I want you to write a program that sums two numbers, how would you do it in C++? And what's an example of a pseudocode? So let's go solution. So solution. Let's just say, let's create a multi-line comment. And the comment is an actual code, it's just a way for you to describe and comment your code. Little snippets. Let's say the first thing we want to do is we want to start our program. And then we want to read the first number, let's say num1. And say step three, we want to read the second number called num2. And for four bean, add num1 and num2 and store the result in some variable 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 uh, eg let's call our variable sum and then all we want to do after that is we want to display sum and then six our final step is we end program Hey, that's it, we're done. We're not writing any actual programming code. And if your pseudocode looks different from mine here, that's fine. As long as the logic, the way it is done is basically the same, you're winning. So let's do another problem. Problem two, I'll create a multi-line comment. So in this problem, This problem, let me think, we design an algorithm to calculate sales tax and the price of an item sold in a particular province. The sales tax is calculated as follows. The province portion is, let's say, 4% of the items, the items selling price the uh, selling price in rands. Well, so let's say we have the city tax being 1.5% of the selling price in rands. If the item is a luxury item, Uh, 
so we'll define luxury item as uh, let's say value greater than fifty thousand value greater than fifty thousand then we add we add an additional additional ten percent tax else we add nothing to calculate the total price of the item we need to determine the province city and luxury tax we then add the tax total to our items sell items selling price and that will determine the total price of the item but why are we doing this because in the real world monsters do exist and it's called tax prior to tax we have price after tax we have total price so let's let's do a solution let's call it pseudocode solution let's do a multi-line comment again step one let's say a uh, start program step two uh, let's read in selling price in rands so we'll call i'm just going to put my variables in parentheses just so we know what we're working with let's say sale price is our selling price in rands and let's say for example we have float selling price the reason why it's a float because what if we have an item that's worth 10 rand 50 cents it should be a decimal number so you'll make it a float let's say for example it's 12 rand 50 this represents uh let's say bread three let's read in read whether the item is a luxury item so in this case is selling price greater than 50,000 and if so then yes it is a luxury item step four let's say uh let's say set we'll set the province tax we'll say set province tax to sales price times zero dot zero four percent that's four percent so it'll be selling price times zero dot zero four and we'll continue in this fashion Let's say set city sales tax which is equal to sales price times 0 0.01, 0 0.015, so it would be selling price times 0 0.015. 6 would be, uh, this is where we can determine if we have a luxury tax. So if item is luxury item, then add tax else add zero to add zero to total tax step seven let's say set sales tax so this is the total tax to be equal to province tax plus city sales tax plus luxury tax step eight let's say amount due so we'll set total total price equal to selling price plus sales tax and step nine let's just display total price let's display total price in brands and step 10 we end 
Again, if your code does not look like this, but the logic is essentially the same, that's great. We're fine. We will not be writing any actual C++ code in this video. In the next video, we will transition this problem right here and our solution into an actual C++ program. That's it.